Lord, we pray for all who have come here and even those who are following from afar. Bless and bless. Shield and protect. And may your leadings be their portion. In the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and may his blessings be yours, Prof, now and always. Amen. I think the last verse of our school hymn says it all. We change, but thou art still the same. And I just want to say very briefly how grateful I am to God for the, everything he's made in my life. And as I was telling presiding bishop this morning, the one thing I've learned is to give thanks no matter what. Sometimes it's difficult to do because what is happening is not something you really wanted to happen. But that is also when we know that we don't direct what God should do. This is an important step he has put in my path. I do not plan to take this step by myself because I know I cannot. I am trusting him to go along with me just as I'm trusting you also, all of you, those of us who are here, those of us who are listening from wherever, that this is a step we are going to take together. And we are taking this step ultimately to the glory of God. Let us just have that mindset that he has brought us this far. He knows the destination. So we are counting on him for the strength, for the wisdom, for the direction. We are counting on him to take us where he thinks we need to be. And let us not forget, it's not always at the end that we give glory. Let us give glory all the time. Also leave them with the word of God. Today, as you're coming here, thank God for this elevation. We, that is the church, present to you the word of God which is your strength and which is your portion. In this book, you have all it takes to go through whatever you have purpose in life. So on behalf of the church, I present this to you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.